fellow makeup fiends, today I'm going to do a current favourites video and it's such a long time since I've done a favourites video. I really don't know why I've kind of fallen out of the habit, I did used to do them every month. I just think after being ill and I wasn't making so many videos I just haven't quite got back into the swing of things. But I do have quite a bit to show you today and it's just really stuff that I've been using a lot I don't know, over the past couple of months I would say, so not necessarily like in the last month. <laughs> so anyway, let's get on with it because you know I do waffle. So we're going to start with beauty items, I don't have a huge amount here. Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. I've become quite obsessed with it. Um, And it looks like I haven't used a lot, but literally I'm so surprised how you can just take a tiny scoop out of this just literally covering like three of your fingers and it will literally do your whole face it's just totally amazing I love the smell of this it's got a really quite nice sort of sweet smell to it but not too sweet and you know because I'm not a huge fan of floral things and I feel like it's a milky sweet sort of smell really really lovely and I love the sensation on the skin but it's really unusual because it really tickles and it's kind of if you really want to like wash it off or scrape it off with your fingers um but you've got to resist the urge because it's just it's great I leave it on and then when you go to touch your face you'd be surprised how much it's bubbled up um so it's really it's a bit unique it's kind of a novelty sort of thing but when you do wash this off your skin feels so soft it's just amazing stuff absolutely love this and I've been using this twice a week and then another thing I've got which is quite unusual and it's a little bit covered in makeup but, but I'm going to show you some wipes um, these are the Little Angels. These are actually fragranced cotton soft baby wipes, but I also have unfragranced. But these are really cheap, um, the Asda ones. You can get them in packs. I think this actually came in a pack. You get 64 wipes in there. It's a baby wipe. And what I like is it's got this plastic flap on. I don't like the plastic, like the paper they've got to keep on folding back. It can roll and curl and you put it in your drawer and sometimes it comes open and the wipes can dry up. The great thing about this is, is this clicks shut and it holds the wipes in there and so you're not, they're not going to dry out. And it's easy to click open and shut. And I actually just have a baby wipe every morning on the desk when I'm doing my makeup because I put my BB cream on after I've primed and moisturised um, and I put that on with my fingers and my hands so I like to clean my hands off afterwards and then I'll leave the wipe on the desk and then I wipe the desk surface down when I'm finished so I use one of these every day and really love them and um, the smell I'm not entirely enthused about the smell these actually smell like the nappy bag so this reminds me of nappy bags this is not the greatest of smell <laughs> but um the unfragranced ones are really nice so that's okay <laughs> but they are great and I love them the next thing I'm so sad to share this with you but this is where I need your help so I have these <laughs> you're like what are those right so these are the Huggies dry wipes I only have three left and that is it and basically they're just an ordinary baby wipe but they're dry and what I do is every morning when I am doing my makeup I fold one over and spray it with brush clean and spray and then as I'm going and using the brushes I actually clean them off on this so this is just to stop build up of bacteria if I do have a spot somewhere I don't want to then have the bacteria on the brush and then put that brush back on my face the next day and perhaps spread it so I'm very very careful about hygiene with brushes and also eye brushes I use different colors every day and I don't want to use like a pastel like a dark brown one day and then go to pastels the next day and then go to put it on and end up with a big smudge of brown so I like to clean my brushes, spot clean them every single day. It also cuts down on washing. I only wash them once a fortnight, which sounds disgusting, but I've got quite a few brushes. I'll actually use it for around a week to 10 days and then pop it in for cleaning. And because, you know, you generally, as a rule, have quite a few brushes. So you have other brushes that you can actually go to. You don't have to just use the same one every day. Um, but yeah. So if anybody knows where I can get dry sort of wipes like these or any kind of a soft cloth that's thick like tissues would not be good enough because they would actually tear as I'm rubbing because I give them a good hard rub especially sort of foundation brushes so I'm looking for something that's got this kind of firmness of these baby wipes but something that yeah about the same size relatively cheap easy to get a hold of I don't want to have to scour the face of the earth to get them I was looking on I think it was Amazon and I tried to find something on there and then I kind of thought well that you know I'm always going to have to rely on Amazon and they don't always carry the products all the time because different sellers sell on there so I kind of thought 
you know, this is no good really. I need to kind of find something more high street that I can actually use. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't, do they still do nappy liners? I wondered whether, like the nappy liners that they use for cloth nappies, whether something like that might be useful. So I don't know. I never used cloth nappies. So if anybody knows, help me please, because <laughs> I can't be without them. And then I think everything else is actually makeup. So let's crack on. So let's talk about foundations and stuff like that first. I've only actually got two things to show you here, but I'm absolutely loving this Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. And this is my second bottle and I'm already a third down already. And it's what I've got on today. I just love this foundation. Um, let me see what color have I got? I have got light porcelain, which is definitely my match. I think it's my colour anyway, <laughs> it's perfect. I put it on, it just blends straight in and it's like, oh my goodness, it's like putting new skin on your face. It's, it's just, oh, I don't know. I just love the coverage. I love it. I just love it. What can I say? Um, Fantastic stuff. So definitely check that out. I'm sorry about the grubby lid. <laughs> I did pick a couple of these up again while they were on offer because I, I'm, this is the only thing I'm actually using foundation wise. So love that. And also I am loving the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. Now this is the um, sort of brush that you use to do underneath your eyes, which I've actually got on today. So if you're looking a little bit tired under the eyes, then this is fantastic just to light that area up. And I absolutely love this. Now I do have the YSL Touche Eclat, but I try not to use that all the time because obviously it's very expensive to replace. So I tend to use that a couple of times a week and then I just use this for the rest of the time if I need to. So yeah, I don't use the other one all the time, but I do use it. There's no point in to makeup and not using it. Um, she says with an Alice in Wonderland Urban Decay palette that's never been touched, but never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the Lumi Magic. I think that this is fantastic stuff and it's pretty comparable to the YSL because you put it on and it instantly lightens up that area and I just, yeah, I think it's fantastic. So that's kind of face stuff. Um, moving on, we'll talk about contour because I have contour today. I don't know if you can see, I'm not very confident with it and I'm not exactly very good at it yet, but I'm learning and I'm trying to get there. So what I have actually been using is the contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can't remember if I hold this, I'm pretty sure I have. Um, I kind of wish it has a mirror in sometimes, but I might actually just see if I can find a small mirror that I can stick in there. Um, because sometimes I'll go, right, I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I can't see myself. But never mind. I love this kit. So, <laughs> name wise, I think this is Java, Fawn and Havana. And then that's vanilla, banana and sand. So, um, vanilla is just, you know, I'll show you that. It's like my colour. <laughs> It's like very me, but it's quite brightening. So it's comparable actually to the um, Maleficent Beauty Powder or the Marilyn Monroe Saw Marilyn um, Beauty Powder. So that's very comparable and it's really nice when you put that under the eyes. Um, I don't know if this little brush has got anything on it. So if you just place a little bit of that under the eyes. It really does just brighten that area up really really like that so that's quite a nice sort of almost a highlight and put a matte sort of highlight then you've got banana which is great for cancelling out redness and then you've got sand which is just a really really pretty highlight it's absolutely gorgeous and that's it there blend it out it's really really pretty so i love that highlight because it's just a very soft sort of ivory champagne sort of shimmer and then Java and Fawn are my favourite ones that I tend to actually take a bit of each on the brush when I contour. I haven't used this today and I'll explain why in a second. Um, but And then I tend to use the last one, Java, Fawn, Havana. I tend to use this one more around the temples and more as a bronzer because that one actually is quite a bit darker. But I also feel that one's got a bit more of an orange tone to it so I don't like that in the contour. Whereas you've got a very nice sort of cool toned fawn in the middle there. So I absolutely love this contour kit. And I mean, I use this every single day until I've dug something out today to kind of share with you. But I use this every single day and there is barely a dent in these shadows. And apparently you can actually pull these out, well not pull these out, kind of put something underneath and pop them out and you can replace them, which is really great because I might hit pan and empty on some of them before I do others. But I absolutely love this contour kit, it's fantastic. 
And what I wanted to share with you is something that I was going to sell and then I kind of rethought it and I've actually pulled this out and I've used this today for a similar sort of thing which is sort of highlighting areas and contouring. This is actually the HD Brows um, Professional Powder Base. So these are actually powder foundations and I got this on eBay for £10 and that was inclusive of postage which is really really good value and it's you know it's not too dissimilar in size it's only a little bit smaller and did you see that cloud of dust <laughs> and that's what it looks like so these two first shades are more sort of me where I am so I can actually use those as powder foundations in the summer I could possibly get away with that one but not really I'm not a sun person perhaps that's why I'm vitamin D deficient um but I actually use this for contour and the bottom row and I tend to use these two mixed together and I've actually used that today so I've contoured and then I've gone over it by using one of the other foundations and just kind of blended it and diffused it and I'll show the brushes that I've actually used for that coming up I'll do those next but I actually use certain brushes to do that but you know it's not the best contour but it's definitely a lot better than I have been achieving. So I'm definitely trying to find ways for, to make things work. And what I would say to anybody who is kind of new to certain techniques in makeup is, I just watch a lot of YouTube videos to kind of see how people do things. But also it's just a kind of practice thing. So you might try something and it might look terrible and it, you know, you have to do it over and over and over again. But eventually you're going to get better at it if you just practice. And it's about confidence really because there's certain things like contour and that would think, no, I can't do that. So I just didn't even try to do it because I was so frightened of it. And I think sometimes you've just got to go, look, it doesn't matter. I'm scared of doing it. I don't think I can do it, but I've just got to give it a try. So that's kind of my philosophy now. So that's what I kind of do. And the best time of day to try these kinds of things is days when you're not going anywhere. And for me, night time, just switch on a couple of lights, sit down. It doesn't matter what makeup you've got on your face from the day. Just sit down and get what you want out to practice and just give it a go. Because you're washing your makeup off your face anyway. So, you know, why not practice when you've got makeup on and just give it a go? It doesn't make a difference. Nobody's going to say it and you're not going anywhere. So that's what I tend to do to practice sort of um, makeup sort of techniques. So I thought I'd quickly share this one with you. It's not the same colours by any means. I mean, this one's obviously a lot darker. But if you are starting out with contouring and you are wanting something to kind of practice with, then I would definitely say that this is a really good way to go. So, yeah, I've got that back out and I'm actually going to keep that now. I'm not going to sell it anymore. Now we'll move on to brushes because I've kind of hinted towards um, some brushes that I've used with these sort of powders and I'll show you the two that I use with those powders first but the brushes I'm going to talk about are the ones from Neve Cosmetics. I was sent this by most of these by Beauty Chamber to review for their channel so I'm hugely thankful to them but I've gone on to purchase more of them myself and I definitely will continue to purchase more and more of these brushes because I tell you what these brushes are amazing. You know I love my real techniques. I am barely touching my real techniques anymore because these have just totally taken over and the price is pretty comparable in all honesty. So what I've been using for my contouring is these two brushes. Blue Contour. So this is an angled fluffy sort of brush, very soft and it's really great to get in that contour area. Now I start with the bigger end here and just bring it down here into the contour area and dust my powder in and then I learned from Nikki Tutorials that you're supposed to go from the knobbly little flap of your ear here and you're supposed to start there and kind of bring it down and that really really helped me say so if you watch people on YouTube it can really help so I kind of bring it down from there and what I tend to do is I bring it down into like where I want it to go where it to end and then I kind of bring it slightly down again so it's almost like a triangle so I do that with this brush then I take the diffuser brush, which is sort of a dual layer brush. And what you've got is these ones at the end are slightly more sparse. Really, really good for diffusing powders and things out. So what I'll do is and I'll then take that and I usually go into the lightest colour and then I will just diffuse that contour and blend it and just make it look a lot more softer. So just kind of blending that out. So I absolutely love these two brushes together. So I want to talk about this one. It's a new one in my collection and this one's called the Amplify brush. 
it's really densely packed and very soft and this is fantastic for foundation application so that's what I've been using that one for. Then I've been using the tapered one which is the green tapered and it's the same shape as the Real Techniques blusher brush, I like that and I've been using that to apply my blush. Then I apply my highlight with a sculpt brush and then if I want to add any more contour and kind of bring it to the top of the contour area so you know your contour area is not super thick but it's not just a tiny little line so if I want to come to the top of the contour and add a bit more contour in there then I will generally just add a little bit more underneath the blush there and kind of diffuse those together so that is the sculpt brush. I use the little mini one which is the flat top kabuki and I use that one to apply mineral foundation. I am completely in love with this brush. This one is so dense and so soft. This is the purple flat top. And I actually use this with my MAC Set Powder or my Ben Nye um, Petal Pink. And I actually just sort of stipple the setting powder into my skin, kind of pressing it in to set my um, skin for the day. So I absolutely love the flat brush for that reason. This one doesn't say what it is. <laughs> But that's like a little brush brush and then this powder brush is really huge really oh my goodness it's so soft and fluffy and this is just quite nice to dust a little bit of powder about if you want to so I kind of have a couple of powder brushes um I use that more for dusting powder on um whereas this one is kind of I just press the powder into my face to set makeup this is what I might use at the end of it just to provide a dust of powder if I put petal pink on at the end just to add a little bit of color then I will use the big one and then my two eye brushes, I definitely want more eye brushes. So the two eye brushes are the Ibuki, which I absolutely love. And I've used both of these brushes and no other brushes today for my eye look. Lovely and dense and round on the top. Just great to apply colour all over the lid. Also quite nice for a little bit of blending and great to do the brow highlight. And then this one is the blending brush, which I actually use to do crease work and to introduce colour into the crease. So love these two brushes and definitely want some more eye brushes. The next thing I need to give a mention is this primer and it's by Absolute New York and it was in the American sort of themed glossy box and I love this and it's just basically comes out of wand like that and I like those wand type ones where you don't have to squeeze it on your fingers and then rub it in you just kind of put a few dabs of it on I use this all around my eyes so in the corner underneath and on the lid and I also use it on my brows because that's a new thing I've started to do it's I don't know it just kind of occurred to me but I just put eye primer and I actually put it onto my brows and rub it right through my brows before I put anything on top and it actually makes your eyebrows, um, I find it goes on a lot better um, I don't know why, it just kind of sticks better and I feel like I get better definition and it lasts longer so I absolutely love this eye primer, it's fantastic, I'm glad I do have another one of these because love it and then another two sort of eye pencil sort of things, we'll do those first if I'm running late and I've slept in, which I did the other day, I, I was like five to eight and I was leaving at quarter past. I had to let the dogs out, I had to get my dinner together and I had to obviously get washed, dressed, makeup on <laughs> and get out the door. So that was quite a feat in itself. But this little baby, I love this. This is the G Lazy Girls or the Girl Who Sleeps In Dream. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Pencil in Sin, which is beautiful colour. Uh, all I'll do is I put on BB cream, I don't put foundation on, I pop this on the lid right up to the crease, bang some eyeliner and mascara on, do my brows, quick blush, lipstick and off you go. <laughs> very very quick, I would say it's probably around five minutes for me to do my makeup when I am using something like this because it's just, there's just no work involved, you just stick it on and off you go. So I absolutely love this and love the colour of it. The other liner is quite sharpened now, it was you know... I think it was a good inch and a half longer than this. In fact, I do have Pool Boy. So, yeah, there's quite a difference there. So, this is actually um, a lip tar. A lip tar. This is an OCC lip pencil, and this one is in Tarte. And I have sharpened it, especially for this video, so it didn't look quite so grubby. But I've actually got it on today. It's just black liner, but that's what I've got on 
on my eyes today and I've got it on the waterline as well. It's fantastic stuff. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be creamy but when I see a pencil as in what looks like a colouring pencil I never expect them to be soft but I think that's because of previous experience with pencils that haven't been soft. Um, but this is very soft and the great thing about this is it's for lips and eyes. It's a fantastic lip liner. I do have black lipstick and yes I have gone out wearing black lipstick. So this is absolutely fantastic for black lipstick but I love it on my eyes and that's a kind of a new revelation well not a new revelation but I got it for my lips and I used it on my lips and I thought yeah but they're good for the eyes as well so I started to try it for my eyes and I absolutely love this little eyeliner it's fantastic it's been definitely a go-to liner and I use it loads so moving on to brows um, I'm absolutely loving this little kit here which I got from collection I think it was 2 dollars and it's the collection brow kit but the thing with these is they end up looking a little bit murky these brow gels and it's got a tiny little brush in and th those are the colours in here. Now if I want to do something a bit more ombre I'll use these two colours together and if I want something a little bit darker I'll tend to mix these two together but this colour here is kind of a almost a reddy brown and it's what I've actually got on my brows today and it just it's a really nice match because obviously I don't really want to have I know I've got red hair but obviously it's dyed red hair so I don't want red brows I have occasionally worn red brows but I kind of I don't know I just don't it's not for me but this is kind of a ready brown and it works really well I've got kind of a random item here and it's by Lit Cosmetics and this is the mini bottle I do have the bigger one but when I got placed an order they kind of put one of these in as a freebie and it's just the baby glitter which is so cute and I love the brushes that come with the kit that I got got the fine one for eyeliner and then you've got the bigger one which is more for all over the lid and I've been using these loads because I've got really into wearing glitters or glitter pigments you you might have seen my riffraff eye tutorial which I will link below for you and I actually use the black 3d glitter from the Rocky Horror collection and I put it all over my lid and I use this and it stayed all day this glitter is fantastic there was no fallout with it it's just amazing glitter glue um I've tried lots of other things with glitter but this is definitely the best thing I've tried so very excited about that <coughs> So now we're going to move on to something that I know that you can no longer get and I think they've only ever been released once. Um, which is a shame, they should definitely release these again but I'm not sure they will and it's by MAC, sorry I'm waffling and not telling you what it is. So these are the MAC Beauty Powders, these are the loose ones. This one is called Sunspill which is what I've got on today on top of Coralista. Um, which I was going to mention in the my favourites because I have been loving Coralista blusher lately. It's just the coral coloured one smells amazing and I absolutely love that one on and I've actually been wearing sun spill over the top as a highlight I don't know if you can see it's quite subtle but it's got color to it so you wouldn't necessarily want to wear this over something else but this kind of matches what I've got on today and then blend it out you can see it definitely has sort of a coral hue to it and I got these a while ago but that thing where you're afraid of using what you've bought it's ridiculous I haven't been using them until lately and I've been using them loads I've got that one there which is Sunspill then I've got Tender Dusk which is beautiful and I tend to wear these with sort of matching blushes so that one I'll wear with Coralista if I'm wearing something pink then I'll wear Tender Dusk um, because Tender Dusk is so beautiful so that is Tender Dusk which is pink and I guess it does have a little bit of a rose gold sort of hue to it that one soft flame which is not what you'd expect when you think soft flame I guess I think of orange but this is more of um I'm useless at sort of disgusting colors but it has kind of like a mauve sort of color to it this is probably what the most colored one um, it's got a lot of color to it and then the other one which is my absolute favourite is Dancing Light which is more of just a simple highlight colour as you can see it's more of just an ivory this does have a little bit of sort of gold to it and it reminds me of sort of Mary Luminizer but in loose format so that's those and I've been loving wearing those so I just kind of had a sort out of my drawers and you know when you have a sort out and you come across things that you're not really using and I've also been using this little thing as well this was from a holiday kit and it's called Silver Aura and it is a mineralized sheer sheen powder loose and this is just a small one because obviously it was part of a kit 
but I absolutely love this. It's such a stunning little highlight and it's just a very soft ivory sort of colour. I'm really shimmering now. That's it there. So it's kind of that white sort of candlelit sort of glow and it's absolutely stunning. So I've been loving wearing these as highlights and like I said, the loose beauty powders do have a bit more colour to them apart from dancing light. So they're great to wear over a coloured blush and then yeah, just add a little bit extra colour by putting your beauty powder on top of it. Then I've also been loving this. <laughs> this is the Riff Raff palette by Rocky Horror Picture Show. MAC Rocky Horror Picture Show. Heavy Black and Pendulous, Blackberry and Graphic Style. I love these three on the lid. I'm loving Carbon actually. It's a really quite a nice addition because you don't have to mess around looking for other things for liners or to smoke the corner out. So it's great that it's in there. Crystal is one of the best inner eye highlights ever. I can't believe I've not discovered it before. And Oh Rocky is just an amazing brow highlight. So I absolutely love this palette and I've been reaching for it loads. Even if I've just used a lid colour and a highlight colour, I've still loved using this little palette. It's fantastic. I'm so happy that I got it. And I nearly was put off by reviews, but I'm so glad that I just decided to get it anyway. And then the last two things I'm going to show you are the Kat Von D palettes. Now, I'm absolutely loving these. I forget the names of them. I'm pretty sure this one is Crystalis. Okay, so I kind of realised that the palettes don't have their names on them. So I can't quite remember. But I'm going to link the video below. I'm pretty sure that this one is Crystalis because I think that Crystalis 007 got this one because it was very similar to her name. I remember people saying, you should get it. It's so close to your name. I remember that because I love watching her. But this is that palette and oh my goodness. Now, these are beautiful palettes. The shadows are gorgeous. This is not the one I've got on today. I've got the other one on. But I love these and they just, even if I just open it and use this as a base colour and use a highlight colour, I'm perfectly happy with just doing that. But I have been using these colours. This purple trio here mm, and this trio here. I tend to use them in trios, which is quite funny. But I, I, that's kind of how they look like they're designed. It's almost like... That is a palette in itself and that is a one. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, they're, they're kind of, they could stand alone quite easily. But the three shades across the top are amazing for base shades, amazing for highlights. I use these top shades loads. Like I said, even if I just pull the palette out and I use the top shades alone. So I love this one. But this is the one that I'm wearing today, which I think this is the Metamorphosis palette. And this one is stunning. If you could get your hands on any one of these, even though it's kind of technically a nude palette and there are so many of them out these days with the whole naked thing all over the market, this is just an amazing palette. I have on the middle section here, I have all of these colours on and then I also have that colour on at the end and that colour there. So I've got quite a few of these colours on today on my eyes and I really, really love them. I love this palette so much and I've been reaching for it a lot. Quickly mention that I am getting into liners. It definitely makes a huge difference to the outline of the lips and how tidy my lips are. Um, so I've been using liners and just to quickly mention I've got Night Moth, Cherry and Foxy Lady. Um, these are really beautiful liners from MAC and it definitely makes a huge difference so I am trying to be a lot better about using liners. Then some MAC lipsticks that I'm going to mention to you today. I have Damn Glamorous from the recent matte collection. This is just an amazing, amazing red. I love wearing this colour. It's a true bright red colour and I have worn this quite a few times since I got it. I say quite a few times because I haven't worn it, I wouldn't say loads, because I try to, I've got so many matte lipsticks, I try to change it up and try to wear a different colour every day. Um, but I've been wearing that one quite a few times because I just absolutely love it. And I wear that with Cherry Liner by MAC. The next one is Sweet Sunrise, which is what I've got on today, because I've kind of been getting back into nudes. And yeah, I kind of went off them for a while. You're not going to see this, it's kind of so pale. Um, but I absolutely love that. And then the last one is Sin, because I can't get enough of wearing this colour. It's so incredibly beautiful. I'm glad I've got a backup of it now, because I just, I just can't stop wearing it. Look at it. You just can't deny the beauty of this lipstick, this Oxblood Deep Dark Intense Vampy Red Colour. And that looks amazing with Foxy Lady as a liner. The other two lipsticks I'm going to mention are from Charlotte Tilbury, because I've been loving wearing these. The first one is Velvet Underground. As you can see, it is quite worn. I am loving wearing this. I thought it was going to be like a 
really bright fuchsia it's just a bright pink and it's really gorgeous and so long lasting on the lips the packaging is so pretty and then the other one from Charlotte Tilbury is from the Velvet Underground, Velvet Underground, from the Matte Revolution range and this one is Glastonbury and I am in love with this colour but you kind of like, do you see a theme here? Except that it's just a bit more purple in colour than Sin. And it's actually, although it's a matte, it's so creamy, it's ridiculous how easy that just swatches on and how fluid it is but it's definitely got more purple tones to it than sin and i absolutely love that one and then the last two items <laughs> that i'm going to quickly mention i am loving wearing tanya burr lip glosses absolutely love them and i've got on today just peachy on top of sweet sunrise i love this with my nudes and i think it gives it more of a peachy hue if i fancy going a bit more pink than i wear the first date color which is an ice cream sort of pink but I am using the other colours I've got I just picked these two to kind of show you just how balls they are yes so that's it I feel like I have like thrown an absolute ton of products at you there so I'm really sorry but hopefully it's useful to you if you are thinking about buying any of these products again I will link videos below for the palettes that I've shown and um yeah if you want to you can pick those up and I'll also link the Charlotte Tilbury swatch video so you can check that out and my Tanya Burr video because I believe the swatches in that one so there'll be a lot of videos um, linked below for you so you can check those things out so thank you very much for watching as always don't forget to check out my blog Colour of My Kiss the link is always in the information bar but it's also on my main page it's the little W on the sort of banner the channel banner I also have a channel trailer now finally I got one sorted I got sick of looking in onto the first page of my channel and just having this empty grey box I just eventually had to make a channel trailer so I'm really pleased that I did that anyway don't forget to like share comment and subscribe I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. I've been Spacey's number one girl and this is the colour of my kiss.